Hello students. So let's try to solve one problem from just 2022. And this is question number A3. And this is from mechanics. So in this problem, a particle is moving in a circle of radius R. And this radius is fixed. And because it is given that radius is constant. And the centripetal acceleration is a function of time. So centripetal acceleration is given by k square rt, where r is the radius, t is time, and k is some constant. So it is asked in the question that we have to calculate the power delivered by the force acting on a particle. So first, we have to see which force is acting on a particle. So obviously, the particle is moving in a circular track. So there is centripetal force. And centripetal force is something m omega square r. So this is your centripetal force. But centripetal acceleration is given. So it is given omega square r is equal to k square r t square. So from here, we can have omega square is equal to k square t square. So we can easily calculate. And now the power is nothing but the rate of change of energy. So the expression of energy is given by here there is not any external force is acting so uh, this external so obviously there is not any potential energy so this energy is only kinetic energy and that value is equal to half m r dot square plus r square theta dot square but it is given that r is fixed so r is equal to r, hence it is constant, and r dot is equal to 0, and theta dot is equal to omega. So what is our energy? So our energy is half m r square omega square. And from here, we can write the value of energy as a function of time. So we can put E is equal to half m r square, and omega square is nothing k square t square. So now what we have to do, we have to calculate the power. And we know the power delivered by the force whose energy is this one given by dE upon dt. That is our power. And this value is equal to m r square k into t. So this will be answer. And I think this is option A. So option A will be answer. So this is a straightforward question. You can just practice this type of question. What will happen when some force is time dependent? Then obviously the power, we can easily calculate the power. Thank you.